Hi everyone, this is Andres from Raptor Corp here in the 3KR training facilities and today we are going to present a couple of products from the Inforce uh, brand. A couple of flashlights, one for rifle, one for pistol. For pistol we will have the Wild 2 and for rifle we will have the WML uh, second generation. One in dark brown, dark earth and the other in black. We will go through uh, each one of the models, we will go to the different features that uh, we will see for almost all will be more or less the same features but there are some uh, different that we want to present so you will have all the uh, available information of each one of the, of the models. Let's start for the pistol one, okay? It's a very compact uh, flashlight with a couple of uh, press buttons in both sides so will be will be easy uh, if you are left-handed or if you are right-handed okay uh, for the pistol one we will have 1000 lumens so it's very powerful in this little uh, size the range more or less of uh, how accurate and how uh, far will get this light on the on the target will be around 300 315 meters more or less and uh, is powered by a, a CR123 battery with um, more or less one hour and a half uh, of use but you could uh, exchange it with new ones or with returnable uh, with returnable batteries so it won't be a won't be a problem okay for that is just to press these ones to extract it with the press button that we have in the inside and to press and to turn around and you will be able to extract the CR123 battery so it's a quick detach, uh, detach mode okay so going back to the model uh, what is made the material from what is made this uh, flashlight is the 6061 T6 aluminium so it's very good uh, product very good quality of the product also uh, is waterproof is around 66 feet around 20 meters so you could uh, operate with these flashlights in in aquatic environments and won't be a won't be a problem to attach it later we will review it in a holster and with a pistol but to attach it to the to the pistol you will have a screw in the uh, left side okay uh, initially, I think that is the only point that maybe we will need to improve in this model. Maybe a quick deattach lever will be easier rather than to having a screw that you need some kind of tool because you could do it with your hand but won't be, let's say, properly attached. You will need a screw to uh, put it as tight as possible. Okay? You will have the Picatinny rail to put it uh, here. We will see it later. And as I said, uh, it's powered with two batteries, two, uh, three uh, CR123 uh, batteries. In the other side, for example, we will have the WML second generation in dark earth. Uh, this will be uh, for rifle. The attachment will be the same as the pistol uh, model is with a screw in the in the right side and same here instead of having a tool you will need to put the pressure with your hands or with another kind of option because it doesn't have the kind of line to make or to put uh, this specific uh, tool that will be the only point that i think we need to improve in this uh, in this model the other uh, point is has 800 lumens of power so it's also very powerful goes up to more or less 200 meters uh, so remember 315 meters 200 meters 1000 lumens 800 lumens so uh, it's both very powerful uh, flashlights in a very short space are very compact here for the uh, rifle option you will have the press button here so you could uh, attach this to the left side to right side to the top side of the hangar of the of the rifle 
and just with pressing this button you will be able to start the different modes that in a minute we will be reviewing also you can you have a let's say safe lever just put it up you will be unable to press the flashlight so it's a kind of safe uh, condition pressing down you will uh, have again operative the uh, the flashlight in the left side you have a, a lever okay if you put it in the uh, up position you will see that is a kind of uh, white uh, band here what it means is that there is the first mode okay in the first mode if you press the flashlight you will turn it on and if you have a kind of double press very quick one you will start the strobe mode okay if you press it again you will set it down so in the first mode when you have the white uh, band you will have the one press you turn on double press strobe mode okay and if you put in the other position you won't have the white band now it's just one click turn on turn off okay so you are not able to keep the light on or you are not going to have the strobe mode strobe mode remember is with the white uh, with the white band okay uh, for the materials is more or less the same 6061 t6 aluminium uh, same batteries for the batteries you remove the head of the flashlight and you will have the CR123 uh, batteries a couple of ones okay same uh, waterproof uh, 66 feet 20 meters so that is exactly the same Picatinny rail in the in the bottom part so that is also the same uh, adjustment as the as the wild to uh, flashlight okay and regarding the more or less the prices is around 230 euros and more or less this uh, WML is around 210 something like that so around 200 euros both uh, both models okay one key uh, point that uh, before receiving the produce uh, we have some doubts regarding that is for this um, for this wild to uh, flashlight for the pistol one if uh, will fit in the kind of common holsters in this case for example for safari land so we have made some tests and let's say it's all fits Perfect. And now we are going to see how it works the Inforce pistol flashlight and the Inforce rifle flashlight. In the first case, the Inforce with the press button on the, on the back. You will see it's pretty dark and it's very, very good flashlight. It's kind of full illumination. Now we will test the rifle one. Same. And we are going to try the strobo mode. Second test with the rifle flashlight from Inforce. And the same with the pistol Inforce flashlight. Let's go. And to end this uh, video, we are going to uh, make a kind of test between the Inforce pistol uh, flashlight and one of our uh, holsters. In this case, will be Safari Land, the model 6378. 
Okay, so as you see, we have in this Glock the Enforced Flashlight Pistol, okay, in the lower rail, and as you see, fits perfectly in and out, okay? So we can say that this Enforced uh, Pistol Flashlight is fully compatible uh, with the uh, Safari Lab model, in this case the 6378. So uh, that will be all, this will be the uh, review. And uh, here Andres from Raptor Core in the 3KR training facility. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.